Every spring, when the dogwoods are in bloom, the sleepy southern river town of Paducah, Kentucky once again becomes the epicenter of the quilting world. Host to the American Quilters Society Quilt Show and Contest. We expect 35,000 people to walk through the doors of this event. Planning a quilt show of this size and scope takes skill, competence, stamina, and comfortable shoes. This is Bonnie. Bonnie Brownie is the show's ambassador, ringmaster, den mother, ombudsman, and all-around glue that makes this event a success. Once the doors open, I really feel like I've done what I need, need to do. And if I haven't done it already, it's too late. So from that point on, it's answer the telephone and put out the fires. Under Bonnie's direction, this premier venue showcases some of the world's best quilts, attracting quilters and quilt admirers from all over the globe. We have 425 contest quilts. We have another area where we hang some special exhibits, and that usually is from 150 to 200 quilts. So that makes a total of about 600 quilts that we have on exhibit here. That's the primary reason the quilters come to the show. And we have 330 quilt booths. That's about 230 individual vendors with products, and, and they always make sure they have the very latest things. I have no idea how many times a day I travel this aisle from one end to the other. Bonnie has a lot in common with the Energizer Bunny. She keeps going and going and going. I'm Bonnie Browning, the director oh, of the Quilt Show. Nice but for Bonnie, the long hours, the mileage, and the hard work is ultimately a labor of love. How are you ladies this morning? I love the quilts. I love the quilters. Um, I think that the quilting community is really a community because a lot of these quilters have been here for 10, 15, 20 years. It's like family. Congratulations on your win last Thank night. Thank you very much, Bonnie. Yeah, see you later. Thanks. The whole community, from the, mi the motorcycle store who puts a quilt over the back of a motorcycle, to every marquee in the community welcomes the quilters. Um, that's something you don't see in lots of other communities. Beyond her organizational superpowers, Bonnie is also a luminary in the quilt world. Yeah, I get stopped a lot saying, you're Bonnie Browning. I am. I thought so. <laughs> nice to see you. I'm the author of eight quilting books. I'm working on number nine. Uh, probably my most famous one is called Borders and Finishing Touches. Um, I showed that on TV, some of the techniques out of there, so people recognize me a lot from that. I love to make quilts. Um, I mean, it's a lot harder for me now with all the obligations I have with the quilt show, um, but it's also a stress reliever. When the crowds have gone home, the quilt's taken down, and the pipe and drape packed up, Bonnie is already planning next year's show. Not much time to contemplate a job well done. To me, the accomplishment is that we got it all done. Everything clicked just the way we planned it. And then I'm off to the next thing. Yeah.